I have always been fascinated by artificial life, computer simulations that try to imitate evolution or biological processes. I also love programming, and in this video I'll show you how I implemented the primordial particle system, a system in which surprisingly organic looking cells emerge from very simple rules. In the PPS, every particle has an orientation and advances a fixed step forward each frame. After this step, it rotates by a fixed angle called alpha. It then checks for other particles in its surroundings. It counts particles to the left and to the right and turns towards the side with more particles by an angle called beta times the number of all neighboring particles. This system is parametrized, so you can choose the values of alpha, beta, step length and neighborhood size. One set of parameters that works well is this one. The programming language I chose to implement the system in was Rust, mainly because I love the language and I was learning it at the time, but also because it is one of the fastest out there. I started by implementing static particles, then programmed in the rules. Hmm, doesn't seem right. So let's try and change this. Seems to work now. I don't know why, but hey. The simulation seems a bit blank, so I added colors based on the density of cells. And also with these lovely grid lines. Look how they fade in and out when you zoom. Very satisfying. Now it looks decent. Let's add some UI. Stop. Here you can see the performance. Controls. Just click some button tools, do some stuff to the particles. You can place them, erase them, and move them. Rule inspector, here you can edit the simulation's parameters. I also added a feature to use many rule sets at the same time. You can make multiple ones and see how particles interact. This implementation has some shortcomings though, mainly performance. It drops below 30 FPS at around 1300 particles, and I want more! The current algorithm is O and squared, meaning when you double the number of particles, the performance gets 4 times worse. And I think I could improve that to O of N with some spatial partitioning. Even better, I could make it multi-threaded, or even GPU accelerated. Even better, I have already started doing that. If you'd like to see how it will turn out, consider subscribing and maybe leave a like. If you want to play around with my program, there is a link to my GitHub in the description. And now, a soothing few minutes of the simulation. Bye!